Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release. 2020-2021 Panini Prism Premier League, the EPL, English Premier League Soccer, two box, random club break number three. I realized as I started this video that I don't think I grabbed everybody's names for this break. I'm probably going to see a blank list right there. All right, so hang on. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. Just an 18-spot break for these clubs right here. All cards ship. Some combos of the teams that don't have hits or don't have, like, uh, autographs, that is. And I didn't even set up the spreadsheet yet. Come on, I got, just got so excited by getting into this break. 3, 3, 21, 2 box, random club, number 3, 2020, 2021, Panini, Prism, Premier League Soccer, footy, football. All right. So now, let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Three and a five, eight times for names and clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth. And final time after eight, we've got E8. Down to Robert. Three and a five, eight times for the clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Man United, my rivals, down to Aston Villa. All right, there you go. So EA with Manchester United, Robert with uh, Newcastle United and Tottenham, Douglas with Southampton, Robert with Arsenal, Will with Wolverhampton, Will with the Wolverhampton Wanderers. There you go, some good alliteration there. Ryan with Chelsea, Robert with my club, Liverpool, as well as Leicester City, Anthony with Fulham, Robert with Crystal Palace and Leeds, Anthony with Everton, Matthew with Man City, EA with Burnley, and Robert, you have the rest. Uh, Brighton, Hove Albion. Sheffield United and the West Brom combo, West Ham United and Aston Villa. Let's sort this by column B by team. We'll box these up, center it. And we'll pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the quick two box break. All right, welcome back, folks. No trades here. It's all good. There it is. Two box, random country number three. There's everybody. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We've got another two-box uh, break in the store. I know. I saw that, Rex. I saw Jock Peterson's home run. Missed Jock Peterson already. I think Jock Peterson is going gonna, is gonna to rake. In uh, at Wrigley Field. You thought this was Norma. No, Trevor, I'm Joe. My name is Joe. Any new baseball soon? Yes. Me a lot of new baseball over the next few weeks. Baseball season. All right. Box number one. There's Wijnaldum for my club, Liverpool. And behind Luke Thomas for Leicester is Mesut Ozil for... Nice, for Arsenal. That'll be for Robert Runkel with the uh, German international. I meant, I thought this soccer was normal. What's normal soccer? I don't think there is a normal soccer. 
there isn't just Prism Soccer. There's always like Prism, like something to do with the World Cup. Then you'll get all the different countries, Euros, or it's the specific leagues. There's Gabriel, Gabriel for Arsenal, for Robert. There's Ainsley, Maitland, Niles, 24 out of 99. Also for Arsenal, a lot of parallels for Arsenal at the beginning. Jock Peterson has a big year. Do you think the Cubs re-sign him? No. I'll bet if Jock Peterson has a big year, he's going to sign a multi-year deal somewhere else that probably will get price it'll probably price himself out of the the Cubs market. There is a Mateo Kovacic for Chelsea. That'll be for Ryan Kaysen. There's Ainsley again to one at ninety nine. Yeah he did Oliver. I saw it. It was a monster. Made me made me uh Miss Jock Peterson. I think he doesn't go back to the Dodgers unless he has a bad year. Robert Runkle. Dodgers do have a history of <laughs> re-signing players that they have, they have sent away. Or not sent away or not re-signed. They traded Alex Wood and they re-signed him a year later. So there, there is a history. There's 75, Southampton. But yeah, I don't think, I don't think the Dodgers... If he has a good year, I think he's getting himself a multi-year deal somewhere. Maybe an, maybe an American League team. I think that's where he ends up. If he has a bad year, I can see him going back to the Dodgers on a, on a cheap one-year deal. Yeah, there's Gilfie Sigurdsson. And there's Nico Williams, 15 out of 149. Nice, yeah, he's he's a pretty young player. I don't know if he's made his, I don't know if he, may, he might have made his debut maybe in a FA Cup match or something like that, but he could be the next great fullback. <laughs> yeah, I could see, I could see the Angels. Well, the, he was almost traded to the Angels, right? But I could see, I could see the Angels overpaying for, uh, for someone like Jock Peterson. Hey, get paid, Jock. I'm down. There's Curtis Jones, hyper parallel. He might be the savior of the Liverpool season. That's going to go to Robert Runkle. Big fan of Curtis Jones. There's Neil Mupai for Brighton, and there's. Tangai Dembele for Tottenham. Robert with the Hot Spurs. And I think Robert also has Brighton Hove Albion. Alphonse Ariola to 199 for Fulham. Goes to Anthony. What about KC? I don't know if Kansas City would would be. I mean, unless Jock has a bad year and Kansas City signs him for a one year deal or something like that. But there's Dale Stevens. But I don't know why Kansas City would would want Jock Peterson when they're in the middle of a pretty much a full youngster rebuild. Nice Bruno Fernandez, ten out of ten for Man United. That's E A. This guy, my one of my big rivals right here, Manchester United. But man, he can score some pretty great goals. There you go. EA, Man United. Look this up. What does that go for? Right, yeah. I could see the Angels making that kind of move all over. It'll be an Artie Moreno call. He'll be like, that's the guy we need. Yeah. 
All right, next box. I know another two boxes have sold out. We're going to go through about 40 orders right after this break, and then we'll see. Uh, and then we'll set up another group of, schedule another group of breaks out. And if Carlos is in the room, your personal boxes await you. At Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram Live. Personals are Instagram Live only. At Jaspi's Breaks with Jason Jaspi, who helped us start the day today. My club Liverpool, big match tomorrow against Chelsea. All right, good luck with this one, everybody. We got Ashley Westwood. Yeah, I believe so. That Bruno Fernandez to 10 is going to sell really well, I think. Uh, Castagne for Leicester City. And the Liverpool keeper, Allison, to 135. Well, this is break three. If you look in the schedule... In the chat, you'll know exactly what break number it is, and you'll see what we've done and what's coming up. Break schedule is always pinned in the chat. There's Aaron Cresswell to 149. Wow, a select base of Bruno Fernandez sold for 129. So on the out of 10 could go for a lot. Yeah, remember, folks, all cards ship in this, and there's a reason why. These Even these base cards... Well, I'm sure there's a lot of the cards, like Phil Foden, who's been playing incredible football, will probably do well. There's Onoma, Josh Onoma for Fulham. That'll be for Anthony. We've got a nice Nabi Keita for Liverpool, 92 out of 199 for Robert. He's got the Reds. There's Bruno Fernandes right there. All right, so... Prism base, I'm sure, could still do pretty well in the secondary market. There's Bernard Silver for Everton. That'll be for Anthony. And we've got Gun Gundogan, 8 out of 25. He's been playing some good football for Manchester City. That's going to go to Matthew. Is who the best guy? I mean, for Manchester United, yeah, that he might he might be one of the best players for Manchester United. In this whole set, I don't know who who would be the biggest in this set. I guess Fernand Bruno Fernandez would be up there. There's Dennis Odoi for Fulham. It goes to Anthony. There's Minamino, who's on loan to another club at the moment. There's Raul Jimenez, 71 out of 99. I don't know. I mean, like guys like Paul Pogba. Yeah, I'm not just... I'd have to do a little more research. I really don't know. Paul Pogba might be up there. Right, although some some Man United fans, like my one of my best friends, Man United fan, a little frustrated with him. Yeah, Mason Greenwood is pretty is pretty solid. There's Makai Bastashaye to one thirty five for Crystal Palace. Obviously, for American fans like ourselves. Rashford, Rashford's pretty solid too. Christian Pulisic, I think, would be a big seller. Yeah, is Mo Salah, is Mohamed Salah a big seller? It's Kyle Edwards, West Brom. There's Raul Jimenez again to 199. You know, any of these rookie cards are, are worth a look. Saka.
And the autograph is going to be David Ospina. Flashback autographs for Arsenal. That's going to go to Robert and the Gunners. I think this might be his first, Bruno Fernandez's first year in the first full season in the Premier League, Miguel. It's always good to have have his first the card this I think this is his first card where he's in his uh in his Man United shirt. And a couple parallels at the end. We got Ryan Bertrand for Southampton, that'll be for Douglas. And then we've got some cracked ice Luka uh Milivojevic. 45 out of 49 for Palace. That's going to go to Robert and Crystal Palace. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Two box, random country number three in the books. we got more Prism Soccer in on uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Go and get it. And I'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.